Okay, uh, so my name is Vivian Bradmirsky. I've been working as uh, a consultant, researcher, instructional designer um, in open education, distance education in Brazil for the past uh, somewhat 18 years. Um, I have my own company, so I render uh, these type of services uh, to companies who are interested in implementing distance education, open education, instructional design uh, services. Um, I've also been um, undertaking uh, independent uh, research um, jobs uh, during these past years, and my fellowship basically focused on investigating uh, whether uh, teachers uh, who had previously participated in no we are course uh, here in Brazil uh, did in fact use OER and OEP uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic when they were basically teaching uh, via emergency remote teaching. Well, I think what worked well uh, during my fellowship was the methodology I chose. I chose a case study methodology uh, through use of online interviews and then focus groups, uh, basically to val validate uh, the data that I, that I had gathered uh, during the online interviews. I developed uh, interview questions basically from scratch. Um, this was new research, um, nobody, uh, in Brazil here, there, there weren't uh, any studies that really addressed it, uh, you know, the, pen, the challenges that teachers face uh, during the pandemic and, and what technologies and what pedagogies and if they had indeed used uh, OER and OEP in their pedagogical practices. Uh, so the methodology worked well. Uh, what was difficult uh, and a big limitation in my study is that um, I initially recruited 15 participants, uh, invited them to participate in the study, and I ended up with only six. So that was uh, the major challenge I faced. So I ended up uh, having to make it work with only six participants. I think the biggest takeaway uh, from my culture, besides what I learned uh, through my research, uh, the data that I gathered and the insights and feedback that I had from teachers, um, is that when you're going to um, undertake research and you've got certain time constraints, you really have to be very objective and pragmatic about your research questions and the research methodology that you use um, so that you can, you know, in a short period of time, uh, achieve, you know, objectives, uh, tangible objectives and, and, and good objectives. So that's my main takeaway. Yeah, well, once again, uh, it has to do with uh, obtaining a larger sample size and uh, yeah, very difficult to overcome that because even if you if you offer teachers incentives uh, like um, I, I offered to the teachers I recruited them uh, through use of Facebook, through use of Twitter, through use you know different kinds of uh, media, uh, not only through email, and I, I, I did offer them incentives such as like, I would teach you how to, you know, license an OER uh, correctly and things like that. But it, it's a very big challenge because when people don't have enough time, they're, they're just not going to be interested or if they don't know what the subject is about, they, they're just not going to engage. So basically, um, I, will, I would have needed more time, I guess, maybe a year or so, and maybe I could have gotten more participants. Well, Gojian provided me with um, feedback, uh, constructive uh, criticism and constructive feedback, uh, 
And I resorted to Gojin several times uh, throughout the fellowship to, to see, you know, was it going in the right direction? And so Gojin um, provided me with, with that kind of support. Uh, they provided me with funding. I also had um, my fellow cohorts who did provide uh, some support as long as, you know, we could manage, we managed to get together. Uh, and have one meeting, um, but because of the time differences and because we're each located in, you know, uh, different uh, geographic locations, it, that was a challenge to do. Uh, but yes, th there was certainly a lot of support. And I know that if I had needed more support from Goja, and I, I surely would have gotten it. Um, it, well, I think there's there's a benefit that maybe is not visible right now, uh, which would be more visible when I publish um, my fellowship, the, the study. Uh, it hasn't really impacted my career now or, or anything like that because I'm not really working with uh, OER at this moment. Uh, but I think there will be uh, an excellent impact in the mid to long term future. Um, and, and it's quite an honor, uh, you know, to have received the fellowship from GoGen because I know the selection process is very tough. So I think as soon as I start disseminating um, my research, I think um, there will be an excellent impact. Well, it took me about maybe one, two months um, after the invitation was sent to really decide whether I was going to, you know, do this fellowship or not. And I said, I need to do something um, that is new, that has not been done. But at the same time, I have to, um, you know, do it with the limited time frame and, you know, with the limited resources um, that I have. So I think um, I managed to do that. Um, it has always been a very big challenge for me to, you know, um, make simple questions. Um, and uh, I did, and that's where Bojan came in, helped me, and I, and I was thinking like, is this going to be a value to anybody? And then, yes, it was. But uh, it took some time, uh, you know, to, to put some time into thinking about this. Uh, but once I decided, I think um, things ran super smoothly, uh, more smoothly than I, than I thought they would have. Well, it, 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 it has involved being in contact and, and, and having this um, constant exchange of ideas and research and um, web, uh, through webinars and exchanges through, through our WhatsApp, WhatsApp group uh, from other GoGen participants, which is very rich because it, it affords me um, multiple perspectives and points of view of what's happening around the world in terms of, uh, you know, studying uh, research in, in OER and open educational practices. Um, so it has, it has been very valuable. Ever since I entered this network, um, I have learned a lot and I have made new friends and I have gained support and like I know what's going on in Africa and I know what's going on in Uruguay and I know what's going on in the UK and I know what's going on in the US um, in this field. So I've made good friends and um, and I've certainly learned a lot from everybody else's research. Well, I would advise them um, to Definitely, you know, be involved always in the network and count on the network uh, for support and help whenever, whenever they need and try to be engaged as much as possible. And I think this is the kind of network that um, 
few people, uh, people who don't know about it, uh, don't know what they're missing out on, you know. Uh, so throughout these years that I've been involved in, in the GoGN network, and, and I really have to thank uh, Rory Magrio for that, uh, because he's the one who, who presented me with the option of, in, you know, entering the network. Um, people are really missing out because, you know, uh, I've already been to several conferences, giving presentations, and uh, thanks to GoGen. So I, I would definitely recommend anybody to enter this network. I think it's a, it's a fantastic uh, network. And um, I don't think networks work as well. Other, although in the DEI um, project that I uh, worked with Karina, uh, we had a couple of respondents say that there are networks, but I think this is one of the networks for, you know, those early career researchers, uh, early PhD researchers that works well, you know, that delivers what, what it promises to. And uh, thanks to GoGen Network for once again giving me um, this opportunity um, to, to undertake work together with you and, and to participate in this network. I think this network is beyond words invaluable. And I would really like to, to get this spread throughout, uh, you know, all of Latin America because I think really other networks, you know, uh, either they don't, they don't have the funding or they don't have the same commitment or the same kind of organization uh, that you guys, that the GoGen network offers.